Hey everyone, welcome to this new episode on Next Multibagger series. In this video, we will discuss the business of a small cap company with business in pharma and chemical segment. The key reason for considering this company in my Next Multibagger series is due to its foray into electrolyte additive that find usage in lithium ion battery in electric vehicle. I am talking about Emi Organics. Emi is the first Indian and global company outside China to develop this product. And that can be a next big growth driver for the company. Company's chairman and MD, Mr. Naresh Patel, has recently mentioned that on the electrolyte business, we are very close to signing contracts with a few customers, and details of the same will be shared once we sign the MOU. I would like to mention the size of these contracts that we are discussing with customer is much larger than what we had anticipated. Not only this, ME Organics has multiple glow drivers that makes it a potential multibagger in the future. By the way, even ace investor Ashish Kacholia is a shareholder in ME Organics. So as usual, we'll look at its business model, leadership, moat, future growth prospect, then key risk, along with the valuation analysis. But before that, just a disclaimer, it is not a buy-sell tip. My goal is to discuss potential stocks that can generate wealth. But at the end of the day, you need to do your own research and take decision of buy and sell as per your research. All right, let's get started. Established in 2007, ME Organics is a manufacturer of advanced pharma intermediate for regulated and generic APIs and as well as your new chemical entities and key starting material that is KSM for agrochemical and fine chemical. Basically, company has two major segments. Pharma Intermediate and Specialty Chemical. Now, Pharma Intermediate is the major business vertical with 84% revenue contribution in FI23. 16% is from Specialty Chemical. Company has developed over 520 products with 70 new products in FI23. Company has three manufacturing units in Gujarat and one R&D facility. It has over 500 customers across 50 plus countries. Out of its total business, 59% is from export in FI23. Now, pharma intermediates find usage in 17 therapeutic areas such as your antiretroviral, then anti-inflammatory, then anti-psychotic, then anti-cancer, anti-Parkinson, anti-depressant, and anti-coagulant. Within specialty chemicals, its products find usage in your cosmetics, dyes, polymer, agrochemical, then your animal food, and your personal care industry. Now, within advanced intermediate, 50 to 55 percent revenue is from emerging market where it supplies intermediate to generic API manufacturer, then 40-45% is from regulatory market, where it supplies molecule to pharma innovators, 5% is from CDMO, where it provides contract manufacturing for big pharma companies, and 1-3% is from import substitute. Now, historically, ME Organics has all the revenue from pharma segment, but specialty chemical is also growing from 3% share in FI20 to 5-18, and now it's 16%. Some of its clients include your Organic, Sun Pharma, Zydus, Loris Lab, Cipla, Dr. Reddy, Lupin, Aurobindo, and that are in generic segment. Then innovators include Boringer Ingenhelm, which is one of the world's largest pharma company based out of Germany, then Fermion, Bayer's, etc. Then specialty chemical clients include your Sharon Lab, Reliance, Huntsman, Himalaya, and so on. So company has filed around 14 patents so far, out of which four patents have been granted, two patents are under publication. Now, if you look at the financials, company's revenues have consistently grown from 160 crore to 188, 239, all the way to 617 crore in FI23. Even its operating margins have improved from 14% to 16, 18, and now at 20%. Its EBITDA has grown from 23 crore to 123 crore. That's five times growth in the last six years. And its net profits have also consistently grown from 12 crore to 83 crore. That's a brilliant growth rate both in terms of top line and bottom line. Company has latest ROE of 15% and ROC of 20% and it's completely debt-free company. In terms of cash flow, company has generated around 66 crore cash from operation in FR23. So overall, the financials looks very promising. Company has recently declared its Q1 result and in spite of global challenges, its revenues have grown by 8.7% year on year and net profits are up 12% year on year. Company's founder is Naresh Kumar Patel, who is the chairman and MD. He has extensive knowledge in generic pharma business and has done his bachelor degree in engineering from Gujarat. Another founder is Chetan Kumar Vagasya, who is whole time director and he has experience in chemical industry. He has done his diploma from Surat. Now, there are many pharma and chemical companies out there. So, the question is, what is so special about ME Organics? What is its moat? 
let's find out so first mode of the company is niche product portfolio with strong market share company's product find usage in chronic disease and in some of its key products hold more than 50% market share globally not just in india all over the world then second mode is strong clientele with preferred supplier status me's clients include top players in pharma and chemical space across the globe where it enjoys preferred supplier status for some of the key molecules then third mode is robust processes and supply chain company has continuously focused on process optimization along with backward integration to basic chemical company has lowered its dependency on china with 73% of raw material outsourced from domestic vendor and that's a very good achievement then fourth mode is innovation company enjoys a good reputation of bringing new product to the market due to its strong r&d and has now 520 plus products that gives a very good diversification to the company it has recently forayed into electrolyte additive that has immense potential in lithium ion battery we'll discuss it shortly in the future growth prospect moreover the segment me operates in has high entry barrier as it involves your complex chemistry and regulatory requirement along with long gestation period to be enlisted as a supplier so all these factors provides a strong mode to me organics now let us look at the future growth prospects of the company okay before we jump to the future growth prospects let's look at the current scenario of the company so it's not a secret that pharma and chemical industry has struggled in fy23 due to multiple factors like your russia ukraine war sharp rise in raw material prices along with increase in gas price and the overall demand environment has also been very muted now in fy24 the situation has started to improve but at a very slower rate especially on the supply side the cost pressure has reduced to a great extent however now china is back with strong production and competitive pricing and that is hurting the indian chemical industry and this impact can continue in the coming quarters although the interesting part is that me organics has minimum to no impact of chinese competition so i was going through their con call and management mentioned that at me organics our business model is designed in such a way that the revival of the chinese chemical industry has a minimum to no bearing on us to put things into perspective we never benefited from the shutting up plants in china due to covid or supply chain issues and second most important thing is that we remain a global market leader in our key products with china and other geographies in the second and third spot so chinese industry coming back strongly will not affect us management has further mentioned that h1 of fr24 will see the revival while h2 will witness more recovery now me organics has not only restricted itself to pharma intermediate and specialty chemical it has also forayed into electrolyte additive that can be the next big growth driver for the company please note that electrolyte sector has a high entry barrier with just 7 8 players globally and all from china and me is the first indian and global company outside china to develop this product these electrolytes plays a crucial role in lithium ion batteries used in electric cars and we all know the exponential growth prospect in this segment me organics has developed two more products in this segment one of them is liquid electrolyte additive to increase electro capacity of the lithium ion batteries and one more additive for solid state battery the products have been approved at lab scale and are in advanced stages of validation company has received approval from six customers worldwide they have also received plan scale trial commercial orders of few metric ton and they are also expecting a bigger commercial order during the current quarter that is q2 of fr24 mr naresh patel has recently mentioned that on the electrolyte business we are very close to signing contract with a few customers and detail of the same will be shared once we sign the mou i would like to mention the size of these contracts that we are discussing with customer is much larger than what we anticipated and that is the reason after this statement me organic share price jumped last week me organics is also positive on the advanced intermediate revival where last year it signed a multi year multi million dollar deal with finland based pharma innovator fermion and company has mentioned that they are expecting to start the production from q2 of fr24 onwards in fact recently they have expanded the scope of their contract with fermion and have added a couple of high value intermediates for the same this means me will now be doing three advanced intermediate for them which increases the value of their contract many fold although mr naresh patel refrained from putting a number to the deal but he has highlighted that it is a very big value deal 
and full capacity will start from FY25. Mr. Naresh Patel in its latest communication mentioned that advanced intermediate business will recover strongly from Q2 of FY24 onwards, whereas we will be commercializing a new product during Q2 of FY24 in the specialty chemical segment, which will further boost the growth for the segment. Now to support the future business growth in company's advanced pharmaceutical intermediate segment, company has announced a capex of 190 crore rupees to build a brownfield plant in Ankleshwar, Gujarat. The plant is expected to start commercial operation from Q4 of FY24. On electrolyte capex, company is waiting for confirmation on commercial production and accordingly they will plan the capex. Moreover, recently, ME Organics has also acquired 55% stake in worth Rs 68 crore in Baba Chemical. With this, ME is entering into the semiconductor industry. So that would again be an interesting space to watch out for. So overall management has clearly mentioned that the challenging days are behind them and they are confident that they will continue the strong growth momentum in FR24 as well. I hope you got a good idea of their future growth plans. Now let us look at the key risk. So the first risk is raw material volatility. Raw material forms the highest component in ME organic cost and any increase in raw material cost can negatively impact its top line and bottom line. As far as dependency on China is concerned, over the years, ME has reduced the dependency, but still around 18% of the raw material comes from China. Then second risk is dependency on end industry. Since ME Organics operate in B2B segment, its business growth is dependent upon the demand in end industry. Any slowdown in demand from pharma and other sectors where it operate can impact its business growth. Moreover, today, around 58% revenue of the company comes from top 10 customer. So there's a client concentration risk. Any cancellation of orders or contracts from top customer can materially impact company's performance. Then third risk is regulatory and compliance risk. Chemical and pharma sector are highly regulated with stringent environmental compliance and regulation. Any failure on that front can impact company's business. Now let us look at company's valuation and shareholding pattern. So ME Organics had its IPO two years ago in September 21 at a price band of 610 rupees. IBO received a very good response and got listed at around 910 rupees and quickly touched a high of 1350. But then it kept on correcting and touched a low of 880. Again, the share jumped in the recent rally and then again there was some correction. But after the latest Q1 results last week and very encouraging management commentary, share has again jumped to the current price of around 1300 rupees. Now at current levels, AMI commands a PE ratio of 55. So market is giving a premium to ME Organics because of its high growth prospects where it is about to sign contract for electrolyte additive along with renewed contract with Fermion which is expected to boost its revenue and profit significantly. Moreover, company is also eyeing on semiconductor segment and has launched multiple products in your specialty chemical sector. So overall, market is very excited with ME's growth plan and hence giving a premium to the company. Now going forward, market will keep a close eye on the development and any positive news can further increase the share price, whereas any negative news on the key risk side can have a negative impact on the share price. But looking at management confidence and very promising commentary, ME Organics is looking very promising to consider as a part of the portfolio. Now I was looking at the shareholding pattern and promoter holding did reduce slightly from 41 to 39.4%, but mainly because the stake were purchased by FIS. So promoter holding has been constant in last four quarter. FI holding is up from 1.8 to 6.7%. DI's holding is up from 3.6 to 5.12%. And public holding is down from peak of 53.8 to 48.7%. By the way, even the ACE investor Ashish Kacholia is a shareholder in the company with 2.1% stake since its listing. Please note that while 48% public holding is still on higher side, out of this, Around 32% stake in public is with HNIs or investment firm. And look at the consistent increase in shareholding from Plutus Wealth Management. So retail investor holding is very low in the company, which is a very good sign. So in this video, we discuss the business model and growth prospect of ME Organics. Company has multiple growth drivers in the near term, including signing up of bigger contract for electrolyte additive. Then second growth driver is the multi-million dollar deal with Fermion, where it is developing three advanced intermediate that will start from Q2 of FI24 onwards and then third growth driver is commercialization of new products during Q2 of FI24 in the specialty chemical segment. Company's management is extremely confident on the bright growth prospect of the company. And if things goes as per management guidance, ME can really grow multiple times from current levels. So overall, it is a very exciting space to watch out for. 
each of these segments have huge growth potential. Currently, like I said, ME is trading at around 1300 rupee at a PE of 55. So market is giving a premium because of high growth potential in the near term as well as in the medium to long term. At the same time, keep in mind that any negative surprise on earning growth can also result in correction in share price. So that's a risk. Anyways, I'll keep a close eye on the further announcement from the company. Now let me know, what do you think about ME Organics? Is it worth adding in your portfolio? I hope you'll find this analysis useful. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.